I'm the viewer. This is Ryan from Burley Burks coming to you live from my obscene Lego room, which is in disrepair because I always have projects going on. Uh, but today we're going to be building Lego City Set 60424 Jungle Explorer ATV. It's 92 pieces and retailed for $13.99 Canadian. And as you can see, the box is damaged because that's how it came when I ordered it from Shop Lego. So. Thank you for that shop Lego. I did complain and they offered to send me another one, but like I'd have to return this one. And I've never done a return for an online order before. It just seemed really complicated and I knew I was going to open it anyway, but I was still annoyed. Still annoyed. <laughs> Doesn't look very good. So, oh, well, it's on YouTube now. Okay. So it's two little bags and a little. ATV, which I should have known because it's in there. Really, I wanted this one for the, the red raccoon. Um, so that's exciting. I'm currently working on a project in my YouTube shorts called Today's Lego Pieces, which I should do a video about because I feel like I have people who watch the YouTube shorts and I have people that watch my videos. Um, there isn't always a whole lot of crossover. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I, I've, I started this channel in March. I'm still learning, obviously, as you can tell by my production value. But um, essentially, I'm introducing a every day. Uh, I started with 25 pieces and I made a little build. And every day I add more. Um, every day I add 25 new pieces to that. It's getting pretty big. And um, by the time this airs, I might be at like day 40. So what's that math? 2000 pieces I'm getting really, really, really big. <laughs> um, and so one of the reasons why I wanted to introduce uh, to buy and build this set specifically is because oh, my hair is everywhere always is because um, in my Lego city, I don't really have a whole lot of animals. I don't have a whole lot of terrain. So I'm trying new new things. New. I want to make a more rural area, and every five days I introduce a. Every ten days I introduce a new character, and every five days I introduce an animal that sort of lives in this area. Ooh. I always like printed map pieces. This is good. Um, so I really <laughs> I bought the set just for this because I want to put him in my little. Uh, uh, autumn fall area. <laughs> I have uh, different areas that are different. Um, there's like a snowy area. There's going to be summer area. I want to depict all the seasons and I feel like this would, this would look great in my little autumn fall area. Anyway, so I built this man. I don't know if he has a name. I think he does. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure he does because, um, because, um, I think he's like a a repurpose of like an older Lego character. I forget his name is at the top, the tip of my tongue. I'll I'll look it up before I do my post build thoughts. But um the set looked cute, so I paid full price, but full disclosure, I don't remember, but there's this going on. There you go. Um Usually I'll buy things. I don't, I try not to buy things full price to be honest, because Lego can be expensive, but if I do, it's usually to like fill an order to get a free gift or something like that, because why not? If I'm going to buy it eventually, I may as well do that. Um, because it's very tempting to get things for free. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're building, a, this looks to be a little bit of a terrain. I don't know if this is like, um, oh, I guess this is the habitat for the raccoon. Um, I guess these, these sets are probably more for like, I don't know, they used to, they used to be less expensive, but these, I guess, are kind of, I think of them as like, okay, uh, 
our our kid has a birthday party, so this is kind of like an easy gift that's not too expensive <laughs> to give to I don't know. Insert generic child name. But they're quick builds, which is nice. Oh, this is different. But I have a lot of really big ones that I need to build because they kind of pile up <laughs> over there. I have a problem. I just buy a lot. But then I try to sell some of the minifigures, especially like ones from like any pieces or minifigures or things like that that doesn't fit into my personal Lego city. Um, I try to sell them to recoup some costs so I can buy more Lego. I'll probably keep this guy. Definitely keeping the raccoon. I have big plans for that raccoon. So we're building, I'm not like big on vehicles, um, so I don't really buy sets that have a lot of vehicles because, I don't know, I have so many wheels already. And I wonder what it's like, I guess, for the, the uh, designers to constantly trying to reinvent essentially the same thing over and over and over again. It's it's very rare that I'll see a vehicle build that I'm like, oh, this looks really interesting. This looks really great. With the exception of, I haven't built it yet, but I do have it, the uh, Double Decker City Tour bus. That one I'm excited for. I do have it. I just haven't gotten around to. There's certain sets that I'll hold on to for some reason that I'm really excited about because I'm like, oh. I don't know why, like I want to build the set, but I want to like take my time. I want to enjoy the experience and you know what I mean? Like I see some of the older videos I did. I mean, not that this video is in any better quality, like I don't edit them or anything like that. It's just a webcam, but like some of my older ones were an even worse webcam with like a different microphone. And so sometimes I'm like, oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll have like a click moment and I'll uh, really turn up the production value and I want to use. I want to build the nice sets when that happens, but I'm also very lazy and I work full time. So this is just, this is just a hobby. This is just for funsies. So and this is different. This is different. It's like, um, it's a smooth piece. Usually there's like a, a rounded one. But this is a smooth piece with an angle at the end. I've never seen this piece before. And it looks like it's in dark blue as well as orange. So you can kind of like put them together like that. That's neat. This is different. I, I wasn't expecting that. So that's nice. Don't really know what to use it for just yet. Are they opposite? They're opposite pieces too. Hmm. Meaning like one goes one way and one goes the other way. So they're not. So this blue one, like there's another blue one, but it doesn't, it's not the same. It's like a, I don't know. I haven't had my third coffee yet. So my brain isn't, uh, you know, words. That's what I say when I, I don't know what to say. I just say words. So this is different. I also like this, um, like the olive green color that they use. Uh, I, I don't get enough of it, but it kind of is good for like more like swampy areas and stuff like that. Okay, so this is coming along. Another one of these? Oh, it's here. And now my hair, <laughs> maybe I should start wearing a hat or just shave it all off. I don't know. OK, 
Okay, and just some extra little accessories, a camera, of course. Okay, did I miss anything? Don't know. So it looks almost like a little like hovercraft. I guess you can modify it to do that if you really want it to. Okay. So there's some extra pieces here. Ooh. There's an extra, I didn't mention it earlier, but there's a printed um, compass, but there's an extra printed one. I mean, of course, because one by ones, they usually give you extras for, which is always appreciated, um, especially when they're like flat tiles, because I like to use these ones in floor uh, designs, like little floor tiles. So that's always nice, but to have a extra printed pieces is re really nice as well. Oop. So we're just doing the wheels, which is always like the last step. When you when it tells you to to start assembling the wheels, that's usually when you know, okay, we're done. Well, that and the fact that there's no more pieces. Um, okay, so that is this set. I mean, it's a cute little build. Um, this new Jungle Explorers set looks really. Ooh, I'm just gonna reach over because I have to do this one soon. I'm going to do this one soon. I'm really excited about this one. I'm really, really excited about this one. Um, so I'm going to do that one very, very soon. But yeah, so it's just like a little, it's just a little ATV. The dude <laughs> whose name I will research before my post both thoughts. And just a little uh, Habitats for this red raccoon. So uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, because that's a big help that keeps me motivated, honestly. I know I don't want to, I, I started this YouTube channel, I didn't want to be one of those YouTubers who are like, please like and subscribe. But you know, watching your videos get more views and more uh, likes and seeing people subscribe and comment, um, I read them all, I, I, I really enjoy, it's really motivating. For me to keep going to keep um building just like actual lego sets but i also do a lot of uh custom things that you can see in my it's in my youtube channel it's called um lego city tours a playlist of like my custom builds um so please check those out check out my short videos just you know do everything i say <laughs> uh and also let me know in the comments did you buy this set did you like this set um are you planning on buying this set? Is there a particular set from this Jungle Explorer theme that you're really interested in? I like the um, the animals that they're introducing. I think there's some gorillas. Um, that one that I just showed has a baby gorilla, which is why I really wanted it for some reason. I don't know. I have no plans for it, but it just looked really cute. Um, so yeah, with that, have a great rest of your day. Thanks.